and the Rockets have to understand that they have goals much bigger than Portland. Jock Landale with the start. And the tap after it ricocheted around a couple of times. It's scooped up by Dylan Brooks. And then finds Jalen Green. That's an easy way, an interesting way, yet an easy way for the Rockets to start off scoring. Another offensive rebound. And that time on the third effort, Thompson comes away with the offensive rebound. Brooks with the step over the shoulder, and he rolls it up and in. That's the mentality you want to play with. I think Scoot Henderson really working on that shot. I haven't quite developed it yet. He's more of a mid-range shooter now, as you, you see. But he does, does draw a ton of fouls. And he can get downhill because he's super athletic. Another layup, this time for Reith. It's a physical play between Brooks and Henderson. Goes with the left hand, misses. But there to clean it up is Jack Landale. Delano Banton has come in. He was fantastic against the Rockets up in Portland. There's Reith again. Yeah, better touch from Landale. He's still hot. Two for two, four points, three boards already for Jock. Anderson. Oh, how about that? Put on the brakes and then slipped between a crevice of two Rockets defenders and went flying by. Yeah, I think that's the first pump that we've seen him go for. That's a half a dozen for Scoot. Landale right at the rim, whirling, bank shot, good, and one. And Aaron Holiday realized where he was. Those are the opportunities that the Rockets have to come up with points. And yeah, they've left a couple of transition opportunities on the wayside already to start this ball game. When the Rockets have struggled, the biggest difference is they don't convert and the opposing team does. Landell open. Four, three. Jock Landell already with 10 points. And Jeff had 19 of those 21 in the first half. The Rockets scored 85 in the first half against Utah, the most they've ever allowed in a half in their franchise history. Same spot, same <laughs> result. <laughs> That's where you hurt with not having Fred Van Vliet on the floor because he makes sure you, you get a good look every time down. Their focus is going to be how do we shut down Chuck Landau? Hey, you right about that. Portland's got to figure that one out. Already, every night at Toyota Center is fight night. With Charles Barkley, I think it would be fight night twice as much the way the Rockets are getting physical with teams and there's Banton to clean it up. There's a part of it almost looks like they're here with boxes and elbows they're tough they're fighting competing. Yeah, there you go. First two of the game ending a 6-0 Blazers run to start the quarter. Kamara and one. The irony with this is the Blazers are basically the worst finishing team at the rim in the league. Fitting Jay Sean Tate that's how he always plays. Group hair. And the 19-year-old buries the three. But these guys are, are, are playing for jobs, playing for opportunities, trying to show that they belong. And there goes Jay Sean Tate whirling for two more. Fancy footwork there. Those days. Played late 92 through 99. Van Fleet, air ball, picked out of there. Put up and in just in the nick of time off the glass. Working Houston right now. They've been a better team. There it is, Ben, outside of Jock Landale. You don't stop the basketball. You're going to get that back nicely there. Rockets only have two fast break points so far in this game. Jalen Green with the step. Almost hit the circus shot on the other side, but there's Jay Sean Tate. See, this feels like that, that, that number has increased as well. Tate downhill, missed it. There's the Ed Thompson. There you go. That's the bully ball. So you see Jay Sean Tate. And I knew you were missing somebody. 32 paint points for the it's Portland side shooting. Season high tying 17 for Jock. How about that move by Murray? Murray's really struggled to shoot the three in his rookie season out of Iowa. Here's Green. There goes Green, and that's his first mate. Time presented by Toyota with Kevin and Calvin. Closing seconds of this second quarter, and Vanton. 15 now for him in the layup. But there is still 24 minutes left to go. Two strong, cleaned up by Reed. That shot in. 
In that game in Portland, the Blazers had 63 points and made a dozen threes as that shot put goes down for Thompson. Van Vliet to Thompson, who's been the Rockets guy here to start the second half. Yeah, he's come out. I'm sure there was a spirited halftime speech, we can assume. I would assume so. Henderson over Landale. Phillips has his trailblazers playing very hard. This is the second career start for Rupert in his ball game as Van Fleet is now more with that make. This coming off again, the game he had where he's 11 16 against the Jazz. And he 10 of his 15 threes. It's crazy how things can change from one game to the next. Another one for Rupert. That one was unsuccessful on the charge called on Green as he attacked Reef. And now Henderson knocks down the three. And that's his first of the game. 11 to 2. And bleed and one. First free throws of his 18-year playing career with seven different teams. Might not want to scuffle with, uh, <laughs> with the Blazers. Jalen Green from the mid-range. He's now four of jumbo lineups. Here's a man Thompson going to work. Had it blocked. Blocked shot. Landell, though, scoops it up. One on three. Somehow finds a seam to kick it back out to Green, who rims in the triple. His second of the game, and the Rockets are within one. Every time the Rockets drive, it's a point of emphasis. Rocket turn it over. Kamara turn it over. Here's Green streaking the other way. And the Rockets have regained the lead. Much better energy here from Houston. Green pullback three's been hot. Stays hot. That time right in the face of Kamara. Raptors. Green off the high screen set by Tate to Jeff Green, and Jeff Green knocks it down. There you go from Jeff, making up for it. Seriously, how many almost posters did Jeff Oh, man, if he, got, if he got that one. Batten then for the moment. And Houston, even though they had four guys foul out of the game. Kill the save! Nice shot, Tate with the punch. <laughs> Behind Banton, scooped up by Hagens, back to Banton. And then he's able to score. So he bends a guy. Stretched out, about as far as he could with that right arm. Murray, gotta get matched up. That's the second time, you know, Blazers just getting by. Banton, pretty move on Bullock Jr. Oh, he's got an unorthodox game. He's got 10 of 17 shooting. He's been impressive again. Look at, look at the, oh, wow. Woo! How nice about that? I don't know if he meant to do it, but he did it. He gets it in some holes, man. They're really sitting on the Rockets' drives. Ben Thompson, a rebound away from a double-double. That falls through. Spencer, they're both my guys there, but Spencer's who, my guy, question, who is real your guy? Un unnecessary. Who isn't your guy? Jalen Green over Walker. His second half explosion continues. Anderson had Bant never threw him the ball though. Still banks it up and in. And then Aaron Howard, they thought Anderson pushed off on him. And the Rockets will call a timeout. They should score the last six. Van Leap. Got it. Fourth rate. This first of the night. There you go. Keep shooting. Rockets trying to end a four-game home losing streak to the Blazers. Give and go. Hey! Most dangerous man. Ooh. There you go. Yes. Mara got stripped as he went back up with it. Ahead to Green by Henderson! <laughs> I mean, he can <laughs> just jump so high. The Blazers just have 90 points on the board, so more of a defensive win here tonight as uh, Banton cont continues to get his stretch of games to close out the regular season. Hot on the heels of the Golden State Warriors. 110-92. Great night.